Start a video with a smile. <laughs> Just love when she does it. Start every video with a smile. So, we're here with Amari. Mm -hmm. Alright, we are at, can you say it, the name for me? Inity. Inity, and what does it mean? Inity is Patois for Unity. Unity. So, I want you to hold your menu. Okay. This is her. Tell what kind of restaurant this is so everybody knows. Well, knows. it's a vegan, raw, alkaline, juice bar, and cafe. Now, people, how interesting in the middle of the Abrupt Gardens <laughs> in Ghana do you find this? That's why I say when I saw this on Google, I was like, this is an anomaly. How does this place exist here? Because I'm dealing with my wife every day. I understand what people here eat on a consistent basis. And I was like, she knew when we were coming up, I kept on saying, this is a place I got to go. This is a place I got to go. We came here Wednesday. Of course, it was closed. I didn't really pay attention to the to the uh, times and dates. But now we're back. And this is our gracious hope. We didn't eat. I'll post what I ate on uh, what Instagram. I do it on the, what I eat is usually Instagram and uh, uh, Facebook is what I do it there. Uh, but basically, I wanted I want people to hear your story. And I want to say this personally from behind the camera. If you are in Accra, if you are in Ghana, you're in Accra, you have to make it your mission to come here. Listen, they're going to charge you an interest fee at at the, well 30 cities we're hoping it's 30 cities they're going to charge you an interest fee to come into this location days you're open the days we're open are friday through sunday and the hours are from 11 30 to 5 30. okay 11 30 to 5 30. so uh, this is like this is a place you got it's like a mecca you the food was excellent i was telling my wife the price that you charge compared to what we'd have paid in Dallas mm -hmm. or, uh, or Atlanta, Georgia, pff, not even close. I mean, if you're coming here with European or American dollars, you have to make it your mission to come here and enjoy this food. I'm, this is just this is my person. This is when I do a review. This is what I'm going to say in the review. So the same energy that we had early, because one of the things I say, I said to all of my guests. We talk off camera a lot and we waste a lot of good, what we call viral time, viral video time talking. And I want to, I want that energy. So the question is, I want the audience to know, give us a little of your background. How did you get here? Well, I came here in 2004 with my daughter who was at that time 15 years old. Okay. And we came out of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm originally from the Bronx, New York, and I came New York, Atlanta, home to Ghana. Okay. Because yeah, that's when, like I told you, when I walked, when you walked up and I heard your voice, I knew this was the anomaly at that point. I knew you were not directly from here <laughs> that I can tell, I can hear the countryness in your voice. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I need to know where this person's from. And it happens to be Atlanta, what is my favorite city in the world, uh, 12 years in Atlanta. Uh, so, what got you into making vegan food? What got you into the, this type of food, eating this type of way? Well, I have been eating this way for now over 40 years. Oh. And I specifically uh, started on this journey uh, because I, in my family, we had a history of illness and disease. Okay. And I wanted to be the one to break that generational curse. And so I started uh, slowly but surely weaning myself mm -hmm. off of, of, of me. And I started with, uh, with uh, beef first. And then I went to poultry. And then the last one was fish. Wait, what? so you, you like, did you like fish more than chicken? I liked it all. Okay. I was actually more of a red meat eater. I was steak and Wow, you'd have been in trouble that. in Dallas. I was, I, I was in. Wow. But what happened was once I took off the red meat, I went down three dress sizes with absolutely no diet or exercise. 
Yeah. And then I realized it was the hormones that was inside of yes. me that was keeping me, you know, at the weight and the size that I was. I wasn't big. I wasn't heavy. Yeah. But it was definitely a difference. Yeah. And I didn't notice it until I actually went to go and try on something. I went in, got my regular size, put it on. And I was like, oh, they must have made this really in China. They're, this size is not really working for me. And it went down, went down. And I, this is really my size. So yeah. it was quite a shock, but it was a good shock. And I just took my time and stopped buying. And that made me stop eating it. Yeah. And then transitioned all the way through. It's interesting because my wife was looking at how much I ate, and I, that was a lot of food. Mm -hmm. But we ate this morning, and I was telling her, at the moment after we ate this morning, what did I do? What did I do this morning after we ate? What did I do? I didn't do nothing bad. You act like I did so bad. <laughs> I went where? Where did I go? Went to the bed. Yes. We got up at seven this morning and went and ate. And we didn't even tend to eat anything. Uh, we wound up eating some fries and then there was some chicken there. Mm -hmm. And then they brought, they actually brought us breakfast at that point after we yeah. ordered the fries and chicken. I'm like, okay. So we ate and she ate. Mm -hmm. She was sitting up there eating. And I was like, cause she said she wasn't at home cause we were trying to eat some fruit, but I ate more here mm -hmm. than I there. And I feel good. Yep. Like I'm not sleepy, I'm no not tired. Itis. I don't have yeah, I don't have the itis. I I feel and I was she was asking, was I gonna work out when I get back? It's like, yeah, I'm going to work. I feel like working out. Do it, yeah. And that's the difference between eating food that is generating energy for you than this taking away energy from. So all right, so the transition from Atlanta to here, how long did it take you to kind of get used to it? Oh, that's a good question. I really had to gauge the time. Mm -hmm. I found myself more concerned with learning the cultural things. And so once I learned the culture as opposed to the language, because I'm really, really slow with language, okay. once I paid attention and, you know, made my family, met my family here on the ground, it was easy. I would say mm, probably about two, no more than three years, I felt like I was okay. in and in. In, in it to win it. Okay. So basically, here feels totally like home now. Here is home. This is home. Mm -hmm. I am now a citizen of Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, I From December 22nd, 2020. Okay. 2020. Okay. 2020. Two uh -huh. is when I was sworn in. How did how long does the process usually take? Well, it's iffy because it's some, it's some it's somewhat new, uh -huh. so there have been gaps in between. They haven't been doing it every year. Okay, it's been going on average to two to three years, and I was in the third batch. Okay, so like me, I'm married to a Ghana citizen. Mm -hmm. Would that help me along the process, or is basically the same? Absolutely. Okay. Um, you don't have to go through the same. Uh, through the same uh, process, uh, your wife can actually uh, apply for you. Okay. And you don't have to wait for a big ceremony. They can do just like at the courthouse swearing okay. you in. Okay. And then you're inside. Okay. That is your job. You've <laughs> got to do this. It's, well, the, the whole point is my retirement is here. Yeah. You know, I've got 16 more years of hopefully, if I'm doing 16 years or more of work, uh, but I want to be in the mountains here, mm -hmm. uh, land here, farther up, farther away. We'll be further, hopefully further in the future and not worse down the line. But yes. I can see myself living in this area, you know, in my retirement years. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that is to me, that is the game plan. That's why I'm doing the stuff that I'm doing now. We've got less than one minute to go. This has already been 10 minutes. Wow. This has already been 10 minutes. So. Like I say, I, I just want people to know I really enjoyed this. My wife sat up here and saw me just eating like crazy. <laughs> she was like, oh, this is a lot of food. And I was like, no, this is good food. This is actually tasting good. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not hurting my stomach, you know, and especially those pancakes. I mean, that's what she told us. She immediately, <laughs> when she started eating those pancakes, she started going in on those pancakes. So. Uh, that being said, we're going to close this video down. We got a gentleman coming up behind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at that. How you doing, sir? Mm -hmm. uh, I, actually, the, the design he got on there, what does that mean? That's 
Jinyami. Yes. The omnipotence, uh, the omnipotence of God. That's why I've seen that before in Atlanta. That's why I've seen yes, it. Before. It's, I've it's, seen I the necklaces that's like and stuff. Our our most well known Adinkra symbol. Okay. All right. So we've had a good interview. We're going to wish everyone peace, health, and wealth. Please come here and enjoy the food. Once again, this is Ina T inside of a Brie Gardens, Lawn 9. Chef Ken is the whole bomb. He's the one that put all the love in the food, a, a, a locally uh, self-made chef. Oh, excellent. So please come and see us. We're looking forward to serving you. All right, uh, raise up. Let's see the number at the bottom. Okay. Yep, there's some information, people. Till next time, we leave everyone in peace, health, and wealth. Until later.